What's up YouTube, you are Inside the Edge and I'm here with another video and today we're going to talk about Des Bryant. A lot of videos has been surfacing around the internet of him rehabbing, doing a lot of route running, working out with his coaches, his friends, um, you know, testing his speed. He's doing a lot in the gym and I think Des Bryant is focused. He doesn't want to throw the cleats up just yet. I mean, he's 31 years of age, um, you know, so if you guys don't know, so back to 2018, he signed a one-year deal with the Saints. Um, within the first couple practice, it might have been the first practice, he tore his Achilles, and that was pretty much the end of Des Bryant. Um, so, you know, within the last past year or so, he's just been rehabbing, getting himself right, getting himself in shape, and trying to come back strong to continue the game of football that he really loves to do. I mean, I don't think Des Bryant has came across, um, you know, retiring. I think he hasn't seen that other side of his life of what he wants to do with life after football. Um, I still think he's tuned in to want to keep playing this game of football. He's, again, he's 31 years of age. Um, you know, most guys that are receivers, um, you know, they know how to stay in shape, even life after football, or just mainly receivers. Like, I look at Chad Odrosinko or Terrell Owens. Like, I feel like Terrell Owens, if he was to come back in the NFL right now, he could do some damage. You know, T like, T.O. is no joke. I think if T.O. was to come back right now, he would do some damage in the NFL. But, you know, Des Bryant, again, he's been rehabbing, you know, doing what he can to come back to football. Now, the big question is what team is willing to sign him. Um, you know, looking at his history, we already know how great he was in Dallas. He's played a good, like, eight seasons over there. He had 73 yards, um, 73 touchdowns, I'm sorry, 73 touchdowns. He averaged 14 yards per catch. Um, he had over 7,000 yards receiving, 531 yards, you know, receptions. He had all those great um, accolades as a top 10 receiver, you know, throughout his years. You know, but fast forward to 2019, you know, again, he tore his Achilles, so we don't know how explosive he's going to be with his route running, his speed, his agility. Um, you know, I guess that's just one thing that he has to just show if he gets back on the field. But, you know, he's not going to be a number one option. But depending on what team he goes to, um, you know, even to be in a third option, that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? I still think he can make plays. You know, averaging 14 yards per catch, that's enough for a first down. You know, and I think that's what Des Bryant is going to have to do when he comes on to any team is can he make, can he keep the chains moving? So, I mean, it's a lot of jitter talk of him going to the Saints, possibly. I mean, I know he made a, a strong commitment when he signed with them back in 2018. Um, I still think he'll have the same focus, the same drive to want to win a championship. Um, I think the New Orleans Saints should give him a deal and do the same deal, give him a one-year deal, um, you know, because the Saints have a really good shot at winning the Super Bowl. And I think that's all what Dez wants to do. It's more about winning the Super Bowl than, you know, money, um, obviously, that's why he took in the the, the one year deal the first time. So, you know, Des Bryant, um, he's focused. He wants to win the Super Bowl, and with with Drew Brees throwing him the football, it'll make his job a lo a lot more easier. Um, and that offense and the way it's set up is set up for Des. Um, you know, they got Kamara in the background. Um, you know, they got a whole running game. Um, the receiving core is good. Um, I think he'll be a third option for the Saints, and I think he can really be productive. Um, as a third option to make plays, get a lot of first downs. Um, again, he's physical, he's strong, he has a lot of upper body strength on you know smaller corners. So I think he's going to make an impact. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be a top top 10 or anything like that, but I do think he can be a big part of the New Orleans Saints if they were to strive to go to Super Bowl. Because in the playoffs, it's all about making plays. And he's, he's a big-time player. He balls. So, um, you know, to give you guys some other... Uh, perspectives. Um, I, I guess the Saints will be, in, um, not the Saints, I guess the Eagles will be another team that he's willing to go to if they gave him the opportunity uh, because, you know, this, we already know Philly, all the receivers dropping passes. <laughs> they need a, a receiver that can catch the ball and make plays. Um, you know, I know Philly's striving to make a Super Bowl run this year, whether that will happen or not. Um, another team would be the Cowboys. I mean, I don't know how, what is their relationship between Jerry Jones and Dez, I don't know if they could squash him beef, but him going back to Dallas, I can see that happening. Um, you know, he's loved in Dallas. Um, you know, Dak Prescott will be his quarterback. Um, I, I think Dez going back to, to the Cowboys, that would be, I mean, that's more for you guys to decide. You guys drop a comment below, but 
I think him going back to Dallas would be, it would be a bad look if he was to go back. Now, again, you know, Des Bryant looks focused. He looks serious. He's been doing a lot of rehabbing. And um, I definitely want to see what he's going to do if a team signs him, what he's going to do back on the football field. But I would love to see him come back and play football, thrive. I would love to see him go to New Orleans to win the Super Bowl. So that's just me. But just to give you guys a quick update, um, he's going to be signing with the team maybe within the next couple of weeks. Um, he has to go through the proper protocol. He has to you know, take a physical for certain teams. And um, if it all looks good, he's ready to go. So um, just giving you guys an update. Um, you know, subscribe, like, comment if you like this content. More sports news on the way. And subscribe, do all that good stuff, and see you guys on my next video. Peace.